Welcome to 395411 Magazine. I got a special guest here today. Yeah, yeah. It's your boy John John Villanueva, of South Bend, Indiana. Concrete Rose director, and we're doing it really big. Why'd you want to make this movie? It's a long story. Um, started when I was young. My father uh, brought it to my attention. As I got older and older, I got more of the story of my father's life. And uh, it was truly epic and just an amazing story about um, his first love. So I wanted to do it and represent uh, my family, my father, my culture, and uh, put on for the Ben as well. Born and raised in South Bend? Yes, sir. Born and raised in Indiana. I'm a Ben boy. So what's your goal for the movie? Uh, just to, you know, show more of the culture, uh, show a side of my family that a lot of people uh, don't really know. Um, like I said, it's an amazing story about a daughter of a powerful man that falls in love with a street musician. They go through trials and tribulations to be together while the family forbids it. So it's a situation that, you know what I'm saying, I, I wanted to showcase. And uh, I think what people are going to take from the actual film is um, just pure beauty. And uh, obviously uh, the underdogs can... Uh, win sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Name some of the cast members in the movie. Well, uh, we got JT Campos from Queen of the South. He did five years on the USA Network. Steve Yeagas off uh, On My Block on Netflix, as well as uh, the CBS show SWAT. I have Danny Trejo's niece, Lisa Martinez, who I love dearly, that's in the film as well. Takashi, a 6'9's baby mama, Sarah Molina, as well as some, uh, some real big ones coming out real soon. Uh, Enrique Guzman, who's uh, recently going to be on the second season of Power and Stars in Chicago. Enrique Kings, who's also on Power. Danny Viegas, who's also on Power, season two. And uh, my dog, Marcos Burgess, uh, who just did a National Geographic um, situation for uh, Locked Aboard. He did a whole season two as well. So we got some heavy hitters, all Latino cast, and we uh making it happen, baby. Right. What made you want to do an all Latino cast? Well, it's basically for the times for my father when he told me the story. Uh, these are the people that were, you know, enticed into the story so therefore i wanted to keep it as true as i possibly can and of course you know what i'm saying the culture as well there's uh, a lack of uh, latino actors and, and a lack of latino presence in hollywood and i wanted to change that as much as i possibly could as well as uh, stick as close to the story as i possibly can as well when does the movie post to drop or are you waiting for some investors or are you going to take it to sundance yeah no what you going to do? yeah no I, I got a company that i'm working with right now uh we got the contracts that's going to be submitted actually today and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh i got investment already for it to push it out the correct manner and uh we're doing it big it's going to be on all platforms that you could possibly think about all media platforms as well. Hollywood Unlocked, TMZ, we going for the, you know, the gusto. I mean, basically, the project is so dope and it's such a great story that people believed in it. So when the company reached out to me and wanted to work, you know what I'm saying, my eyes perked up and uh, we're working out the deal as we speak and the contract is ready to go and we're going to make it do what it do. Right, right, right. Uh, just to get off the subject real quick, but I seen you pull up in this dump. What, yeah. what, what what is that outside? What you got out there? You, you, that you know, it's clean. Things happen, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I I got a little, you know, people that help me out from here and there, from here and there, you know. In the film, we got countless cars. I got seven of them. You know, limousines, uh, private jets, the works, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I feel like, you know, presentation is everything and first impressions can be uh, greatly uh, submitted. So, uh, you know. Keep it clean and keep it classy and do what you do and be a humble person. I think uh, everything will work out in the end. Who dressed the cast members? Yeah, I dressed everybody. I literally dressed everybody because it was a certain time, had to be a certain flavor, a certain cast. So when the people would come to the situation, I would provide wardrobe for uh, a lot of the actors as well as, uh, you know, kind of co-produce uh, them as well from a uh, past wardrobe they might have had in the past, you know what I'm saying, that would fit the actual scenes and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I... Basically did it all. I'm a one man band and uh it came out beautifully and uh man, I mean God bless everybody that was a part of the project, you know what I'm saying? Angel Garcia, Selim Morales, Damian Villanueva, Eli Cantu, you know what I'm saying, the homie Guala Joe came through as well, you know what I'm saying, and everybody that blessed the soundtrack as well, you know, Paul Producer, Alex P, you know what I'm saying, Guala Joe, the homie Benzo, you know what I'm saying, Squirt the Flirt, Stucky Boy, you know what I'm saying? Like I try to keep it as close as I could from the band because I feel like if you get it an opportunity you know, to really put on in a major way. Why hold it all for yourself? You might as well spread it out as much as you possibly can to the people that, you know, really put on for themselves as well. You know what I'm saying? It's a win-win. Right, 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 right. You say Guala Joe. Yes, my dog. Yeah, Guala Joe, man, he did a, he blessed me with the track too. Yeah. Um, 
mixtape called Global Pandemic. Yeah, he really blessed that. Yeah, I mean, good he dude. really got some really good new music. Yeah, Paul good producer, dude. he's great. Very much um, so. So, what made you this wanted to just keep it basically in the band? I know you did other scenes yeah. outside the state, yeah. but what what made you want to? Yeah. It's cold here, and it ain't really that yeah, much no, scenery, you know? Well, like I said, um, I wanted to keep as close to the story as I possibly could. We did film in New York, Long Beach, Los Angeles, Texas, you know, Goshen, Michigan, areas like that. But I'm a Ben Town boy, and I'm, you know, I'm a South Bend Pride boy, you know what I'm saying? And I definitely wanted to put on for the city and wanted to put on for, uh, you know, the, the the place where, you know, I first, you know, got any type of gratitude, you know, especially when it came from music, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to bless the the city for this as well because it doesn't matter where you come from you know it matters where you're at and what you're doing with it so um you know just hometown pride basically right right so we're gonna wrap this up yeah and i want you to tell everybody where, how they can reach you yeah. and if you can give us a drop when the movie's gonna be yeah, out got you, got you. and when you get a chance, I want you to come back to three three dot five four one one the no, magazine definitely, and definitely. do it exclusive. Yeah, no, definitely. You know, it's going to be out on all platforms. You know, what I'm saying we're doing it big. We're looking at HBO Max right now as we speak. You know, on top of uh, other platforms as well. You can reach me at John John Villanueva V I L L A N U E V E A. And uh, man, check me out. I'm approachable. I ain't bougie. You know, what I'm saying get at me. You know what I'm saying? It's the Midwest, and uh, we're doing it right. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to be in on here. And God bless everybody out there listening. You know what I'm saying? Latinos stand up. And uh, I'll see you on the theater real soon. 395-411, the magazine. We out. Thank you, John. Appreciate you. All right.